The secret to a beautiful low maintenance pond lies in building up as much beneficial bacteria as possible. These bacteria play a crucial role in keeping your water clean and your fish healthy by breaking down waste and supporting the nitrogen cycle. Today we'll explore how to achieve this natural balance so your pond can become a thriving, self-sustaining ecosystem. Let's start by discussing what happens when your pond lacks this balance. Barren ponds, those without plants, fish or bacteria, require constant cleaning. You're always scrubbing algae, clearing debris and resetting the system. Every time you clean, you're wiping out beneficial bacteria and disrupting the natural cycle. It's a vicious loop of more cleaning and increasing imbalance. The key to a healthy pond is fostering beneficial bacteria. These microorganisms are the backbone of your pond's ecosystem. They break down harmful substances and maintain water quality. While a good filter system alone can achieve this, adding a gravel substrate at the bottom of your pond and incorporating plants throughout greatly enhances the surface area for colonising bacteria. Plants not only help clean the water, but also act as a natural buffer for water quality. With these elements, you essentially have two filtration systems in place, a natural ecosystem within your pond and a filter system that amplifies its effectiveness. This combination allows for more fish than would otherwise survive naturally in the same amount of water in the wild. So how do we achieve this balance? 1. Start with a biological filter. A biological filter is essential for supporting the nitrogen cycle. It provides a home for beneficial bacteria, allowing them to convert harmful ammonia from fish waste into safer nitrates. The larger the filter, the more beneficial bacteria it can support, resulting in better breakdown of fish waste. There are many types of pond filters available and your choice will depend on your budget and pond size. If price is a concern, don't be afraid to build one yourself. At the lower end of the price spectrum, a DIY filter can often outperform commercial models. Many store-bought filters lack sufficient surface area for bacteria to colonise, but with some creativity you can construct a much better filter for the same cost. 2. Incorporate plants. Plants are your pond's best allies. Not only do they look stunning, but they also play a critical role in maintaining balance. Here's how. Absorbing nutrients. Plants like water lilies, cattails and hornwort absorb excess nutrients, starving algae and keeping your water clear. Releasing oxygen. Submerged plants release oxygen into the water, which is essential for fish and bacteria. Providing shelter. Plants offer shelter for fish and help reduce water temperature, preventing algae growth. The more plants you add, the healthier and prettier your pond becomes. A mix of submerged, floating and marginal plants will yield the best results. 3. Add a gravel bottom. A gravel bottom acts as a natural substrate for bacteria to colonise. It also traps debris and prevents sludge build-up, contributing to improved water clarity. Tips for setting up your pond. When setting up your pond, introduce fish gradually over several months to allow the system to adapt and grow. If you start in early spring, your pond plants will flourish by summer. During this time, beneficial bacteria will colonise every area of the pond and filter system, keeping up with the slow increase in waste from the fish. I've personally experienced both barren ponds, reliant solely on filter systems and ponds set up as described here. Both have their pros and cons. Large koi, for example, can be quite destructive to plants, but there are ways to manage this. Ultimately, the choice is yours. I personally prefer natural planted ponds. Watching fish in these environments, I've noticed they seem happier. They enjoy rooting around and searching for natural food, which is more abundant in planted ponds. Plus, these ponds attract more wildlife to your garden and look stunning in the summer. As winter approaches, remember to prune back plants to prevent dead matter from accumulating in your pond. And it's that simple. Always keep in mind that you're creating an ecosystem and aiming for excellent water quality. 
If you do this, your fish will thrive and you'll have a pond that practically takes care of itself. By fostering beneficial bacteria, adding plants and letting fish play their role, you're creating a balanced, thriving ecosystem. No more constant cleaning, no more headaches, just a beautiful, serene pond to enjoy year-round. So why fight nature when you can work with it? Start building your pond's ecosystem today and transform it into the stunning, self-sustaining feature you've always dreamed of. Thanks for watching.